welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the channel so this is a part two of frank obegi's video if you haven't watched uh, the first part i will link it in the comment section so just hit uh, that link in the comment section to watch part one of the video so frank obegi the murdered blogger uh, used to throw money around at a popular club in Westland. So apparently the ladies know him very well. They remember him very well. And one of them is actually sharing um, that he used to really, really throw money at the girls. Um, in my last video, I touched about Franco Beggy and how he was living a large life. And in that video, I didn't understand what why everybody was saying he lived uh, a large life. But now we are getting to understand just the type of um, lifestyle he was living. Guys, you know, I don't know. It's always interesting. Whenever you hear about scammers, it's almost exactly the same lifestyle. It's always women, cars, and alcohol. There isn't anything else they do with this money. And they, according to one of the girls, uh, Obegi used to throw money around at a popular club in Westland while in the company of beautiful ladies allegedly he would buy expensive drinks and party all night long obegi and his gang allegedly recently conned someone of ten thousand dollars which is equivalent to one million kenya shillings now uh, in some cases people are reporting it was money but in cryptocurrency so I don't know if it was actual. I mean, it's still money, even if it's one million uh, cryptocurrency. It is still money at the end of the day. So this was done just Monday last week. Um, it's also being reported that previously they landed in a situation similar to this. So apparently they conned somebody a lot of money and that person was coming for them. That person wanted to finish them, but I think they managed to go underground and they disappeared for a while. But as soon as they, things died down, you know, they came back to the limelight again and came back to the lifestyle of scamming people. Allegedly, everything in this video is alleged. I just want to emphasize that. So in this recent scenario, allegedly, the victim hired uh, a gang that allegedly abducted the blogger and his colleagues before torturing them to death. Again, guys, this is all alleged. I don't know. We are still waiting for investigations. They were lured by this gang and that's how they were found in the forest, dead, tortured, mutilated and, you know, bodies decomposing, allegedly. Now, I also wanted to just uh, mention that the police have actually now revealed uh, the names of the other people that were part of this uh, mystery. So I can reveal that the other bodies that were found with Frank. Uh, so number one, starting with Frank. So it's Frank Obegi, Elijah Omeka, Mose Nyachae. These three bodies were found in Kijabe Forest. And then the last body, the body of Fred Obare Mokaya, was found in Magadi. Now, it is being alleged that a mysterious woman actually lured the final victim, Fred Obare, to death. So at this point, uh, everything about this case is still very mysterious. We don't know uh, where the truth is. And we want to leave, personally, I want to leave that to the police and I hope the DCI will investigate and, and come and tell us what happened to this man. I mean, even if they're scammers, even if they're fraudsters, we still uh, deserve to know how they ended up in the forest, ended up dead. It's important because I think the family will need that closure. It is important because sometimes maybe even the families did not know that, you know, these people were scammers. So I hope that uh, the police will investigate this case and they will tell us what really happened, give us those final moments, who really, you know, who really took these people away and what was done to them and why. So anyway, one of the victims' uh, family members are speaking, uh, Mokaya's uh, family, Fred Obari Mokaya, who is the victim that was found in Magadi. The family have been speaking to national media and they're really shocked by the manner in which he was killed. And this is what I'm saying. It's like they probably didn't understand that he was involved in this, you know, shoddy business, allegedly. So Mokaya went missing on Thursday. The rest went missing on Tuesday, but Mokaya went missing on Thursday while his three friends were reported missing on Tuesday last week.
so guys i don't know what are your thoughts on this case it's really mysterious there's a lot of mystery i think one thing is a bit clear that these people were not you know great people like they were doing shoddy business but it's just hard to understand what happened in between but usually if you're involved in a shoddy business usually it doesn't end well we know this it doesn't it never ends well it always ends this way so anyway, this case is still um, unfolding. I'm sure there's still more to talk about. And I know I'll probably do one final video. I'm sure the families will also come out speaking. I love to see the families, you know, tell us a little bit more about these people because we really don't know who they are. So anyway, I'll end this video here so it's not very long and I'll catch you on the next one. I'll do another update as soon as I've gathered more information on uh, what's going on or as soon as we hear from the police. So thank you so much for coming back to the channel. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Make sure to turn on your post notifications so you know every time i post i'll catch you on the next one bye